What is up everybody? This is Ronnie, your go-to instructor if you want to learn how to design with Canva. Today I'm back at you with a new tutorial. This is going to be a, a little bit of a special tutorial for you guys because I'm going to combine Canva with my video editing software because the, the, the reason of this tutorial, the reason of being of this tutorial is how can we use the Canva stickers in our videos? Okay, how can we leverage this uh, wonderful collection of animated stickers that are in Canva in the videos we produce? Okay, so uh, for this, we are going to need, of course, a video editing software. I'm going to be using Adobe Premiere Pro, okay, because that's what I use. This is probably not the easiest video editing software to deal with. Uh, it might be a little bit impressive for some of you guys, but uh, do not panic. <laughs> you don't need to buy this. You don't need to download this. There are some easier video editing software, but for this to work, you will need one that will allow you to get rid of a green background, so some kind of ultra keying or green keying functionality. That's the prerequisite for this tutorial. Okay, that being said, let me jump back to Canva and we are gonna get started. So what we will need is to first open a document that will match the resolution of our video. So if I go back to this video, and this is just a simple, um, a simple footage of me, myself, just talking. So that's a typical talking head video. So in order to know the resolution of this clip, I can just click here. So 1920 by 1080, you see here, uh, that's the resolution of my clip. So that's also the resolution that I would need in Canva and that is the presentation resolution 1920 by 1080 so i'm going to open this and so uh what we are what we are going to do here is that we need some kind of a background right we need that image of myself that is here uh, so i can use that to kind of measure uh where i'm going to position my stickers so in order to do this i'm going to export this one frame so there is this functionality here in premiere pro export frame just gonna do that frame we we'll call it frame number two and I'm gonna go get that here on my desktop oh not in the program but in Canva right there so I'm importing this frame right here so I'm gonna click on that and make that full screen and I'm gonna lock it okay so now we have this frame, it's our background, and this will be super useful for positioning our stickers. So next, of course, we are gonna get to the Canva uh, elements right here, and scroll down to the sticker category, see all, to kind of see uh, what kind of options do we have here. We have a bunch of stickers, Canva is adding new stickers every week, uh, and they are getting cooler and cooler. That's why I wanted to create a tutorial about how to use them in your videos, because I believe uh, this is only gonna get better. So let's say this video that I'm creating right here is for my YouTube channel. And I would like to have some kind of call to action to uh, remind people that they should subscribe to the channel. And by the way, guys, you should subscribe to the channel if you're watching this tutorial on YouTube, because we are growing and we have new tutorials every week. So you see what I just did right there, this kind of call to action would be nice to be accompanied by uh, a little visual. So let's see if they have in the sticker category any uh, subscribe kind of call to action. For this, I'm going to type subscribe in colon no space stickers. Okay, so that's how you search in a specific Canva category. You put in column and then the name of the category. And let's see, yes, there is a bunch of subscribe buttons here, subscribe animation, so that's pretty cool. And I particularly like this first one right here. It says subscribe. Okay, so I'm going to reduce the size, not too small, because I want people to clearly see it. That's a little bit too big. And I'm going to position this using the guide, like the save zone here. You see the purple lines kind of like here because the subscribe button on YouTube traditionally lays here under the video. So this is how it's going to look. And then if I export this, of course, the frame, because I need to export this as a video, right? Because this is a video animation. 
I want to be uh, benefiting from the animation. If I export this as a PNG with a transparent background, I won't have the animation. I would just have a still image and I don't want that. I want the full animation. So the only way to do this is to export as a video. But if I export this as a video, I will have my, my uh, still image in the background. Even if I get rid of the still image, which I should, by the way, so I got rid of it. If I export this as a video, I will have the white background and it won't look nice in my video. So let's uh, find another way to do this. So the way to do this properly is that you will add a background, which is a green background like this, because then we will go use a tool in our video editing software called an ultra key or a green keying, depending on the software you use. Uh, but I know Camtasia and um, yeah, Premiere Pro are using this, have this functionality. Uh, so if you're not sure, you can simply Google it to see which video editing software has the, um, let you basically get rid of a green background because this is going to be uh, needed. All right, so now we are ready to export. I'm going to export this as a video. Okay, our video is ready. I'm gonna go get it. Open folder and I'm going to call this subscribe sticker. Okay, copy this. I'm going to paste this in here and insert this in my video editing software, okay? So let's say I'm talking, I'm talking, and I want this call to action to come about here. Let me zoom in on this timeline a little bit. And I want this animation, let, let, let's play it. Okay, Okay. I'm gonna double this, the duration of this. So Control C, Control V. Well, let's do it three times. So it's a total of about six, seven seconds. Not bad. That's pretty cool. You can also add a sound effect if you have some uh, right here. That would be nice. Some kind of like blinking or some some kind of sound effect to make it look cool. All right. I'm not going to do that, but uh, it's recommended that you do. And of course, now the crux of this tutorial, guys, is how to get rid of this green background. So for this, you're going to go into your effects right here and search for uh, ultra key effect okay this effect might have a different name in another video editing software but in premiere pro that's how it's called so when you drop this effect on your clip it opens see this uh, series of effects and, and settings right here it opens um, different settings so one of them is the key color so you have to key your color which is the green one as soon as i will release this click this green color will disappear, boom, like this. So now uh, all I need to do is apply the same effect to the two other clips, these two. So I'm going to copy the ultra key, click on this one, apply, and then here, click on the clip and paste. All right, so now I have applied this effect and I'm gonna play the clip, I'm gonna play this full screen Hey guys, subscribe to the channel for all the videos, blah, 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 blah. This is Ronnie and I will hope you're subscribed to the channel by now. <laughs> so yeah, this is how it works. This is how it works. Let me just stop the video and go back to my timeline. So you see very simply, I could use the Canva stickers and they have so many good stickers. That's why uh, you should totally totally, totally use the stickers in your videos and learn with the simple technique of the green keying or the ultra keying, how to get rid of them, how to export them and then get rid of them. I hope this video was useful. I hope that you learned something interesting today with me. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment or subscribe to the channel if you're watching on YouTube. This will, uh, this will mean the world to me. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.